rice is one of my favorite things. This peri peri chili was brought over from Africa to Portugal and it is now a very famous spice blend. I myself have some Portuguese heritage and while I can't claim that this recipe is authentic, I can promise you that this is super delicious. Today we're going to use this spice to make a fantastic roast chicken. This would look gorgeous on your holiday table but also makes a fabulous family night meal. Let's start with the chilies. Peri peri chilies are difficult to find so I'm going to substitute red hot chilies instead. Now you can see these chilies are gorgeous. They're almost as big as the palm of my hand. I'm going to use three of these in this recipe. I'm going to chop it up and I'm going to put it in my food processor and process it. I'm going to add the crushed chilies to a bowl together with one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of smoked paprika. I've got four cloves of garlic that I've crushed. I'm also going to add three tablespoons of red wine vinegar as well as three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of black pepper and a teaspoon of coarse salt. I'm also going to add some thyme leaves. Now I've got about four to five sprigs of thyme leaves. This is about two teaspoons. I'm only going to use the leaves in this recipe. Once I've got this together, I'm just going to mix it. Now in many peri peri recipes, they also use a shot of whiskey. If you would like to do that, you can add that right now. If I have time, I always like to prep my bird in some brine and this is really simple. I'm going to use a quarter cup of sugar together with a quarter cup of salt and one liter of water. Now I've already prepped my bird in the brine. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to give it a good pat dry with some kitchen towels. Make sure your bird is really, really dry. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to let it bathe in this delicious peri peri mixture. Make sure to get that marinade inside the bird and all over. I've preheated my oven as well as my oven tray and I have some oil sitting in my oven tray. I'm going to add the bird to the tray and this is going to cook for about an hour to an hour 10 minutes. Now in between I'm going to take the bird out and I'm going to add the additional residual marinade because I don't want to waste any of that. I'm going to put it back in the oven, going to let it cook till it's nice and golden brown. I'm also occasionally going to baste the bird in its own juices. Now at the end of the cooking time, your bird is going to be beautiful and golden brown. It's going to be delicious, succulent and really, really juicy. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every Friday and this video is part of the 12 days of Christmas. I have some crazy recipes for you to try out. So make sure you're clicking on those links and sharing it with your friends. From our family to yours, happy holidays.